The way Princess Anne conducts herself in public sets her apart from younger royals including the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge or the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, according to an expert. The Princess Royal follows the Queen's lead when it comes to public behaviour, choosing to refrain from displaying affection for her loved ones during engagements much like Her Majesty has done for the past seven decades, a body language and behavioural expert noted. This choice distinguishes Princess Anne from younger members of the firm and the family, commentator Darren Stanton said. Speaking on behalf of Betfair Bingo, he said, Princess Anne has very often reminded me of the Queen in terms of her gestures over the years, despite the strong similarities with her father in terms of her personality. It has long been known that Princess Anne does not suffer fools gladly, as the expression says. Therefore, people have often said you'll know if she likes you or not very quickly. Of course, these are similar traits to that of her father Prince Philip with whom she was said to share a special bond, however, from a non-verbal perspective a lot of her gestures mirror the Queen. The first one is the fact that the Queen would practically never show any signs of public displays of affection, this is also true of the Princess Royal and I have struggled to find any photographs where she might have kissed her partner or held hands or showed any major signs of emotion. This sets her apart from the younger generation of royals too as we are more likely to see this from the likes of Kate and William or Meghan and Harry. This does not mean that she is a cold person lacking empathy or emotion, it simply demonstrates the fact that because Princess Anne was brought up in a certain way together with her brothers, especially with the heir Charles considering their closeness in age compared with the younger Andrew and Edward, she embraced and adopted the protocols of the time and this continues through her behaviour today. Even during their time as working members of the firm, Meghan and Prince Harry would often walk holding hands during engagements. The pair have also exchanged a few chaste kisses in public, in particular following polo matches or, as it happened at The Hague in April, after a speech. Kate and Prince William have rarely been spotted holding hands but have nevertheless been caught on camera exchanging intimate gestures, such as touching each other's back or leaning against each other. Princess Anne's daughter and son-in-law, Zara and Mike Tyndall, have been photographed exchanging a few kisses in public over the past few years. The Tyndalls, however, are not working royals and don't represent the crown when attending public events. Princess Anne turned 72 on Monday and is believed to have spent the day privately. The senior royal's birthday was publicly marked by the royal family and Kensington Palace's Twitter accounts. The first, which represents the Queen and all working members of the firm who don't have their own social media handles, wrote, wishing the Princess Royal a happy birthday today. The message included a picture of Anne taken during a garden party held at Buckingham Palace. Kate and William's Twitter account also shared a birthday message for Anne. Accompanied by a birthday emoji, it read, wishing a very happy birthday to the Princess Royal today. Unlike the royal family's tweet, this message did not include a picture of the royal. Anne is one of the hardest working members of the firm, as she carries out hundreds of royal duties every year. Choosing not to attend university, she started completing engagements aged 18. She has since supported several charities and has tied links with more than 300 organizations.